Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here. I am Christina DeMarco. Welcome if you are new. This is my lifestyle beauty channel and today's video is about skin. I wanted to showcase an awesome, awesome service that I like to do on myself at home. I usually do it about once a month. Makes your makeup go on smoother. Of course, everyone loves good exfoliation. It's quick, it's easy, it's effortless, and anyone can do it at home. I do have a really exciting new tool. So I am super excited to show you guys this. This is the Finishing Touch Flawless Dermaplane Glow. This is an awesome product that actually is going to be going international as well soon. And it is an at-home dermaplane tool. You can get dermaplaning all over. It is a very popular service. A lot of people know about it. There's probably quite a few people that don't. And it's where you actually take a little kind of razor. And of course, what it's going to do is it's going to remove any dead skin along the surface of your skin, as well as just take off all that light fuzz that all of us have on our skin. Exfoliation is so crucial when it comes to having great healthy skin. So this is just another service that you can do and it's great that anyone can do this at home now. There's so many advancements in products and this is one of them. So I am going to open this up. We are going to dive on in and my hair's up. I have completely naked clean skin. There is nothing on my face. I don't have any moisturizer or anything. This is just naked clean makeup free skin. So when you open it up, I'm gonna take this off. You get the actual tool itself. It looks like it comes with a battery and then six replacement blades. I'm super excited to use this because I have done this before in the past, you know, with similar little tools, but I've never had one. Hang on, I can't multitask apparently. I need to look for the battery. Oh, hello. You put it in here. Okay, so you put it in the end first. I'm sure it shows me which end goes where, and it does. So we are going to do the plus side here. Okay, so battery goes in here, and then you simply just slide this back in, and that is on. So I'll take the little cover off. So this is what the tool itself looks like. It's actually really nice. It's got really pretty like rose gold detail on it. Nice like solid tool in your hand. You can see the blades. So the really cool thing about these, all those little ridges that you see, those are actually little teeny guards and it is impossible to cut yourself, okay? So you don't have to worry. This is something that anyone can use. I'm sure it's intimidating thinking of using a little razor on your face, but you will not cut yourself. That is a built-in guard. So it makes it super user-friendly. But yeah, it's really nice looking you know, really, like I said, sturdy. And it comes with six replacement blades. There is a whole manual, I believe. Yes, back here. I was gonna say they have to have one in here. So let me take a peek. I'm just gonna go over some of the things that it talks about real quick. And the really exciting thing for me with this tool is the fact that the battery is for the light. So when you turn it on, a light goes on. So when it's up against the face, you can really see well, which I think is really helpful because the one I have, of course, doesn't have any light on it. So I am really excited for that. Okay, so when we open this up, it gives you lots of step-by-step -step instructions. So everything you need to know about this will be in this booklet. So let's see, dry use only. So it recommends not getting these wet at all. So that's what the replacement blades are for. So after you use it, you can go ahead and swap it out for a new blade. If you're doing it every four weeks, that'll last you like, well, technically seven months. So that's super nice. You get a ton of blades in your first box. And yeah, it talks about, you know, making sure that you have no makeup on, skin is clean, the directions that you can do for the areas of your face. So I've done this pretty frequently, so I'm just gonna go in and kind of just do my face how I normally do it. But everything you need to know will be in the big manual that comes along in the kit. Now, my skin is clean again, as I've said. A headband does help. Whenever I do this on myself, I like a headband because I know that it just holds my fuzzies back. So, cause I do have lots of little fuzzies. Everyone pretty much does. So clean skin, I'm ready to rock. And I am going to, I think, scoot my big mirror I have just a little closer to me so that I can actually really 
get up close and see what I'm doing. I hope none of you mind my mirror on the side of my screen. Now, when you do this, you do always wanna make sure that any area of your face you're working on, that you're going kind of at an angle. Whenever I work, I go like a 45 this way. I kind of go down my cheeks this way, you know, along the side of my chin, down my neck. The other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that if you're pulling any skin kind of taut, that you're having your fingers the opposite spot of the direction of the blade. So I don't want to hold my skin down here and come towards my fingers. You want to have your hands up here or opposite, you know, direction of wherever you're bringing that blade. So I'm gonna be using my hand up here and I'm coming down this way. So we are just gonna go ahead and start. You guys, I have to tell you, the first time I did this, my jaw dropped because I'll lean in really close. So this is a close up of my skin. This is total vulnerability right now. You can see, I mean, I don't have a lot of fuzz. Some women have a lot more fuzz. It happens a little bit more the older we get too. It just tends to grow a little bit longer and it's usually along the sideburn area, down the jaw. Women will wonder as well too, like when they put their makeup on, let me move this for a sec. It's like, gosh, my makeup won't go to my skin because I have all this fuzz. This will solve your problem. And also, just so you know, your hair will not grow in thicker if you do this. A lot of women, I think, get really nervous that they're gonna have their hair grow in thicker if they remove their hair. It will not. So your hair will grow in exactly the same. You do not have to worry. But as you can see, my hair, I don't have really a ton. I have peach fuzz here along my jaw. So it's like when you go and you remove all that, your skin obviously just, the makeup goes on like a dream. Now my skin is also kind of dry right now. Like in this area here, it just gets so dry and I use moisturizer all the time. So it's just due for some love. So we are going to jump on in and we are gonna start you guys get ready because this is absolutely crazy. It might be kind of gross, but it's so satisfying when you see what comes off your face. Okay, so I'm turning this on so you guys can probably see how my hand lights up. So it's a really nice... I believe it's an LED light. Yep, bright LED light right on the front of the package. Okay, so I usually start with my cheeks. It's just my biggest area. Okay, so I am going to have my hand back here and I am going to just start kind of making small little strokes and working my way down my cheek. Can you guys see that? Look at what's coming off my face. Oh, oh it's so gross and so good. And you just like, it's a mixture of like dead skin and all that hair and we are just gonna work it. Oh, it just flew off my face. Oh, and it feels immediately so silky when you touch where you're passing. Okay, so now I'm gonna kinda go back a little bit. Oh, this is where I'm gonna have more too because it's thicker back closer to my ear. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look, look at that. Oh, hair and dead skin. Oh. All right, moving right along. I'm sorry, I get fascinated very easily. It's kind of hard to get the blade nice and flush back here. So I actually come this way. I'm gonna move my hand over here and I'm going to work myself towards my ear this way and just kind of work down. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so overdue for this. It's ridiculous. And I'm just making little passes all along and again like i'm putting a good amount of pressure and making just kind of that small little kind of like almost like scratching motions it's super comfortable it does not hurt at all and you are not going to cut yourself so i pretty much have all of that area done i'm going to move down my chin now my chin doesn't have quite as much oh but i can see the dead skin coming off it's so gross i'm gonna kind of work a little bit inward oh i can see like it's like exfoliating my skin like right off. It's epic. Yes. Oh my goodness, this is great. Okay, so all women, even if it's light, I have a little bit of my Italian fuzz I get right here. So I'm gonna take this and just go right down towards my lip. Oh my gosh, it's so soft, I love it. Okay, so that should be good for all of this. Now I'm going to actually come around because I do want to do down kind of my jawline just a little bit. So I'm just kind of going around the curve of my neck right towards my ear. 
and I always like to go down my neck. It's important when you're doing any kind of face. Oh yeah, I have like this huge line of just hair coming off. When you're doing stuff for your face, don't forget about your neck because your neck is also very delicate skin. And for women especially, our necks show a lot of age as we get older. So it's really important, like whatever products you're using on your face, if you're using like vitamin C serums or any treatments, and of course all your creams and moisturizers, use those like down your neck and everything like that. I even put them on my hands at night because hands age for women too. So it's like, if I'm gonna be treating my face with anti-aging, I wanna hit kind of the other areas that tend to age us women a little bit more prematurely than we would like. So I'm just gonna come down just kind of right past my jawline. I don't really go too far down my neck. I'm not really too fuzzy, but I just like the exfoliation factor too when it comes to that area. I'm gonna go kind of the opposite direction for a second just to catch any other hairs that maybe are growing in a different direction. Gosh, this light really helps. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do the forehead. And my forehead, I just kind of go down straight and I stop right above. It's kind of hard to see with the light in this shot. A little space, maybe about that much, I'm giving to where I'm stopping above my eyebrow. So I'm gonna go down my forehead, stopping. Ooh, you guys, you can see it collecting. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's like showering fuzz down my, right in front of my vision. Fuzz and dead skin. And this tool, it's, it's not meant for your eyebrows, so I don't suggest it for that. So again, you see me kind of avoiding my brow. I'm just going around on my face around it, but literally look when I look to the side. Do you guys see that? It just like caught all that gunk right above my brow. Ugh, gross yet so good. Oh yeah, I can see so much good exfoliation here where I'm like super dry and it's just terrible. Ugh. Fantastic. I like to do my nose. I just like to exfoliate it. So I'm just gonna very lightly go over the edge. I'm gonna kind of go at an angle down the sides. It's gonna feel kind of funny because obviously our noses have so many curves and dips and stuff and you don't have to go crazy. I just like to kind of run it over just for a quick exfoliation. It definitely exfoliates the skin. All right, I'm gonna come down right between my brows just cause I don't wanna forget about that little bit of skin I wanna exfoliate. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do the other half of the face and then we will kind of talk about how everything feels, all the good stuff afterwards and chat then. Wait, you guys, hang on. I think this is a bigger one than my other side. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Okay, so I have my face completely done. Whew, just trying to brush some of the loose hairs away. That is it, you guys. It's super fast, super easy. Again, it's taking off all the peach fuzz. I'll kind of come up close. When you feel your skin, it's so soft, so silky. Your makeup is gonna go on like a dream. Everything is nice and exfoliated. A lot of dead skin comes off with it. It's so, so fantastic. The other thing I just wanna say, after you use this, don't go in and put a bunch of stuff on your skin. If you need to like rinse your face just with some water, if you wanna get like some of the like fuzz and stuff, go ahead. I personally don't like to put anything on my face for a while afterwards. With this treatment, I just feel like it just works really well to do that. So I pretty much just kind of rinse my skin off, pat it dry, and I'm good to go. I feel nice and smooth, silky. I let it be. The next day I resume my normal stuff. I don't know if you'll be able to see the blade, like the fuzz and stuff that's still on there. I tried to kind of wipe it, but literally there's so much. Like I have just fuzz like all over my desk. I actually should take like a photo of this because it's gross but it's so good. 
Okay, so that is it. That is the at-home dermaplaning. You guys can find this tool online. I will link the website below. You can also find it in some select stores. I'm not really sure which ones. I'm sure you can find all that information on the website. This product will be going international and you will be able to get it there as well online. I love a good DIY. Obviously it's a treat to go get services done. So by all means still treat yourself, but I love getting to do some of this stuff on my own in just the comfort of my home, quick, easy, super effective. And I always like recommending that to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the service with me and walking through kind of just the ease of it, the knowledge of it. I hope you feel like you got a really great grasp on it and you're excited to maybe try it yourselves. If you guys like this video, I would love a thumbs up. Also give me feedback in the comments if you guys choose to do this. If you have any questions, put them down below as well. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. You will see the button I have on the side of the screen and also make sure that you ring the bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.